reports. Was commissioned a couple of days ago. I can't remember the Mr. Emmanuel Obaini and, uh, is just uh, one of the few uh, residents uh, who have a fair idea of the digital switchover of Abuja and the June 2017 deadline for national switchover. I know that it was commissioned a couple of days ago. I can't remember the exact date. And uh, listening to the television, I think I was told that uh, it's something that the whole world has gone digital, but Nigeria is still, you know, because of that, the Abuja, I think it was the Abuja something they commissioned. Many residents who are the immediate beneficiaries of the digitization of the federal capital and the government subsidized set-top boxes for affordability and accessibility to the least of the populace remain uninformed. I didn't even know anything about You're it. You're just saying about it? Yeah, this is my first time. I'm not aware that Abuja has been digitalized. I'm just saying it some few minutes ago. For the benefit of the people of Abuja, the federal government the launched the digital switchover in Abuja barely one week ago as the second Nigerian state to be digitized, saying six more states will follow in the coming months. But residents of Abuja say there isn't enough enlightenment on the process which they consider beneficial. Most of Nigerians are not aware about this free TV and to make them to be aware is by going to channels maybe uh, they should speak around so that they will have it within within us so that even the less privilege that I can offer other stations like go tv they may they will be able to have it these residents say that while a few media reports of the events and the digitization plans and its implications are welcome a mass campaign and enlightenment is appropriate to get the buy-in of majority of nigerian masses who are the major beneficiaries Omelogo, Nadi Channel Television News.